runway, getting a little frisky with another typhoon. We've sorted all that uh, frustration out on the airfield, up in the air. All right, tab out for me. Let me see the competition. Stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my God, it is it is bomber chaos on the other team right now. Um, let's see. Probably lots of Tupolevs and Peshkas, man. As to what they are specifically, I'm not sure. <laughs> What's up, Gold and Silver? Baron here, Gold and Silver. Um, who is Devonaby's speed? Yeah. Alright, so is this the one with the 20s? Yeah, the Tempest. Oh, it's the Tempest. This is not a regular Typhoon. You can tell I play my hearts here Brits a bit. Or not. Don't you love the beauty of historical battles? It's like the calm before the storm right now. You're just flying out, watching fly. Do barrel rolls in cockpit mode, looking to the right. Mouse noob. <laughs> How many ladies are here, Ethan? Use your imagination because they are right now. All right, that's all I have to say about that. I can't hear you, man. Hello, Governor. What you saying? All right, so I'm gonna be calling the shots here, right. and Fly has to do what I say. So this could be terrible, or this could be good. I have to say that the Tempest is a rather gorgeous-looking fighter plane, though. Keep. Let's see. <laughs> the wannabe Swede is putting lipstick on in his cockpit right now. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. See what's going on. Can't really tell. Uh, it looks like there's a little little motion going on over there. That tea party was off the roof, governor. Is that good for you, bashful? Yeah. All right. So TU2s going low. Um, level off at 3,000 and curve in because if the majority, unless yeah, you're gonna have to do it. We're just we're just doing this ad hoc. I know there's fighters and they're going to be a half altitude on you, but there's what, 10 bombers? And they're all going though. Look at all those dots going though. Year twos. Um, all right, tab out real quick. One, two, three, four fighters. How many, anything dead yet? Nothing. It's getting chased by the XP-50. Is the XP-50 still a paper plane? Like in terms of uh, damage potential, how much it can take. Yes, it is. All right. Well, he's gonna have a tough time with those Soviet gunners. There's the LA-7. Drop on the LA-7. We're gonna take out one or two fighters, and then you're gonna hunt bombers as they go back to their airfield to rearm. You're gonna poach the crap out of this game. All right, he's turning out. No, Golden, we haven't done the dual vlog yet. We're gonna record that probably after this. Nice shots. Going for that pilot snipe. <laughs> Mercy to bombers. I feel like when it's a whole game of bombers, uh, you're not really going to be merciful to them because that's the only real targets you have. I think a good rule of thumb though is if you ever see someone in an OS2U or an F1M, you should let them shoot you down. <laughs> Just give them the best day they've ever had. <laughs> but other than that, um, all right, let's see, there's the LA-7, that's your priority number one. or you have an LA-7 chasing your boy right below you. Split S right now. Wingmen first. 
You got a friendly Tempest also going in. Nice. Damage of the left wing. All right, so you can... I think he should be fine, especially if you have a, uh, a fellow wingman helping out your other wingman. Where's that? There was, there's the other LA-7. So there's only real two in this area. And that's what we're going to be doing right now. Is calling out the targets. Ooh. Ooh. Dem maneuvers. Look at how gorgeous that Tempest is, man. That thing just looks beefy and powerful. Yeah, because if you can knock these guys out, it's just going to be easy going bomber hunting with those 420s for the rest of the game. Enemy kill assist. All right, he's down. Nice. All right, so what do we got now? Tab out. Three of them. All of them. All right, bomber hunt. Let's see. I would go more for ones uh, further towards their airfield, chase them down, because these guys are going to be returning to base. And after you pursue like this guy, max route, you'll be able to just drop on those guys. How many how many rounds per gun do you have in the Tempest 20s? Enough. <laughs> That's a good number to have. You always want to have enough. If you have enough, you're going to do well. Dude, we got the whole crew here. Entec, Norbster, Gold and Silver, Mr. Linton, and all the supporting cast. All right, is he heading towards friendly? Yeah, he is. Friendly, oh, actually, he's coming at you. I'm looking down and uh, reading the chat as well as, wow, getting dizzy. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the. Uh, this was a twin seat fighter. I'd be a guy in the back trying to call out targets and not throw up. Would you crit left aileron? Think he's going down? Or he'll be able to control it more than likely. You have to assume he will. Get one more crit and he'll limp back at worst. Crash on his airfield. There it is. Pilot snipe. Ooh, a B-17. So now, yeah. Head, uh, east or northeast-ish just pop the uh, returning bombers. I think that that's all the only one I've seen in visual range for a while. Is he the last one? They may be at high altitude above the clouds. This may be one of those pop this guy. He's coming towards you. Is he going for a... Uh, you going to get on his six or are you going for a high deflection shot? Low yo-yo. And then drop on him. All right. So no deflection shot for the pilot sniper. You're going for the crits. Boom! Sniped. All right. Chances are how many are left? Two. There he is. Look at that beastly B-17. Those things are so fun in formation. I feel like to really enjoy yourself in a bomber, you have, you almost, like a, a true heavy bomber. Not like a dive bomber or anything. You really have to be in a squad. You really have to be, formations are fun. Even if you get owned, it's fun. That little moment right before you're about to get dove on is pretty intense. It's one of those one of those jobs where you have a lot of downtime and then you just have really really intense moments. Like with dogfighting, those moments are oh critically damaged by Tahina here. He just lost one. Weapon hard right now. Entech, are you weapon? Let's see. This plane, Herpinson Derpinson, is the Tempest. Intac is wepping hard. 
I repeat, NTAC is wepping hard. You guys, have you guys thought about doing another? Is he gonna be? Able, if he lands on the mountainside, he's oh, he would have been legendary. Another Swede has fallen over Korea. <laughs> another one. All right, I think this one. Just deflection and aim for that pilot. High deflection. And then, like, just get him in a good one or two second burst. You're gonna have to do this. If you do it right, it's over. Almost. Just a little off. Looked like it. You got really close to that left engine. At this point, you gotta. I feel like you gotta go in for it. You're already getting triple A. I don't know. Like, see, this is the gamble. I've done this recently. You see, yeah, yeah. Your teammate is gonna attract some attention from the AAA, or hopefully split it so it won't have all the attention on you. And then, that, or you could wing out and uh, intercept Popeye. And it's Tupolev. All right, you're gonna have to. Yeah. Ooh. Were those flashes? Or were those just the traces, like, literally? I think since you were kind of perpendicular to the ground, your shots literally went right to the left, or top and bottom of it. Nice. Look at how beautiful this map is. I want to drive a torpedo boat up that river. <laughs> And have a 37 auto cannon mounted to the nose of it and just snipe guys as they try to land. That would be awesome. Yes, Lyndon, this game does need triplanes. I think, what, I mean, they have so much they're working on right now. I think in the future, if this game were to be very, very successful, which all indications are proving to it being successful, that we would get to see. Um, more early, like inner war, and maybe even World War One style uh, aircraft. I mean, that would be a lot of fun. So the question for the stream right now is: Would you rather War Thunder and Gaijin, like under this assumption that they, you had the option, and that they didn't already have this planned, or that they would just even further just dominate their coverage of World War Two? Say they did it to an adequate point, they wanted to get a little more. Would you rather have prior to World War II, like Spanish Civil War, interwar stuff, Chinese Civil War, or no, not Chinese Civil War, the uh, Sino Japanese War, Invasion of Manchuria, like stuff like that, early war stuff, World War I stuff, or would you ha rather have like Korea getting into maybe even Vietnam? I think that I'd prove yeah. it would be cool, but I think it'd be more fun to go early war because later war it'd be more missiles and stuff like that I mean I'm, I'm fairly certain air to air missiles were kinda refined near the end of the Korean War is that true yeah but see that's the thing like I don't know how it would really work out yeah lock on missiles I don't know it'd take away from some of the charm of really dogfighting with ballistics based weaponry as opposed to like missiles and stuff. Yeah, v missiles in Vietnam were terrible, so maybe, but see that's the thing, we're already really covering the Korean War era, so like going beyond that, you're really true, and then it's just really only Soviet, to the most, for the most part, it's Soviet and American technologies after that, whereas before World War II, every nation there was more national parity in terms of aircraft the Fokker was that Belgian or Dutch Fokker aircraft company I feel like it was Dutch but I'm not sure nice golden air conflicts Vietnam like ace combat yeah, so people are saying that the Fokker was Dutch, so yeah. I think it'd be easier and it'd be a lot of fun. Everyone's had those experiences. They're few and far between, 
but I don't know the good old days when I first started when you get in those just ro slow rolling like beehive style dogfights and biplanes that would be fun and fly with your rise of flight uh, video recently which was hilarious that it was just so funny yeah like you'd get if you haven't seen it check it out because you get a lot more experiences like that just biplanes if anyone in the chat like I have this image, um, it even, I think, was even used in the beginning days of World War II. It was a Soviet bomber that, like, the hull shape was almost like a boat in a way. With the, with the gunner, like, sitting straight in the nose, like, like, he didn't have a cockpit or anything. He's just a dude sitting in a, a little hole with a, a belt-fed machine gun, and he's the gunner on the nose. For some reason, I just really want to fly that. So you'd be flying it. If anyone has a link to that or knows what I'm talking about, it'd be great. The Hindenburg. Oh, there it is. So you critted his left lap, and then I'm assuming you pilot sniped. And there it is. And you got one left. Is this the last one? You gonna hammerhead this? There's no real need to but it would be oh we're, we're doing a loop bleeding off speed to get the drop but whoa yeah <laughs> this is the full real battle pilot taking over all right what are the bets Oh, it overshoot. You got 147 rounds, son. Stop making him count. I think you critted his left lap, and he's headed straight for a mountain, so he's going to have trouble if he cannot. Hostile team captured zone A. You got to finish him off now. Oh, man. No way. Finish him off. Oh, what a... What a... No! Oh, no. How can AI influence like a game like that? I don't know. But see, that's the thing. What just happened right there? Everyone, a lot of people have these like no! assumptions <laughs> while you hear fly in the background. I'm going to leave you with this thought um, for my commentary here. Is everyone's always talking about how planes are just going to dominate tanks. But what just happened there was tanks. AI controlled tanks at that, that is true. determining who won the battle. How many points? How many how many silver lines would you had if you had won? Probably seventy thousand. You think seventy? Seventy. AI controlled tanks? My Just robbed your bank, man. Yeah. They robbed your bank. Oh wow. I Black can't I can't help you. Oh, <laughs> Oh man. God, We gotta bail out. We gotta bail out. Bail out, man. I might be going down with you.